elected in fun stipend to Mayor Alexandra Hester's private account at Lantano County. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I was going to say Mayor Buchanan or Mayor Hester. I mean, technically, she was still married to Ethan when she stipend those accounts. Well, would you like to call my grandfather? Ask him that question. Got it. Mayor Hester it is. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I just hey. came from court. The injunction has been lifted. We can go right ahead with the second part of the expose on us. Great. So whatever Todd thought he was going to accomplish didn't work. No. Not so fast. You didn't see this morning's edition of The Sun. Wake up, not a day to be a sleepyhead. Not when the whole town is reading the news. Our news. Oh, Todd. This is crazy. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> so get ready, Landview. We're back. people watching us. Well, who's that? She a cop? No. No, that's Mrs. Spencer. She comes uh, every day to light a candle for her son. I guess Carlo's not too happy this morning, huh? I haven't talked to him yet, but I figure he's not smiling much now. Pray. What? <clears throat> God in heaven, please answer my prayer. Please send me word about Carlo Hesser, thine enemy and mine. Look, um, Carlo's really on the edge right now. What Alex did to him was like a knife in the back. I even saw him talking to his shrink. A psychiatrist? Cool. I'd be real happy to know that he's driving uh, Carlo crazy now. Being a therapist, though, isn't really against the law. You know. Is there anything else going on? No, not really. It just uh, seems a little weird, that's all. I mean, Carlo's not the therapy type. You know, and then and they both got a little nervous when I showed up. Was it like something's going on between them? Uh, I don't know, maybe. All right. I'll follow up on it. What's the shrink's name? Durbin. Elliot Durbin. Don't even get late. Why are you wasting your time reading this filth? Hello. Why aren't you planning a session with Vicky? A final session? I looked all over town, East Landview, West Landview, even in the fancy hotels. The sun is just flying right off the rack. Oh, did you call printing? Yeah, there should be another 5,000 copies on the streets by 11. Oh, Todd, this is so great. I told you, when we are together, you can't stop us. Oh. Yeah. We get the job done, all right? Yes. I'm going to go down to the banner. Banner, why? Them a little visit. Well, because I'm going to give him a present. I'm such a nice guy now that I'm a winner. The injunction's been lifted, you know. I'm going to tell them in person. Todd, All right. Well, I'm going to give Star a kiss for you and tell her what a winner her daddy is. What a winner we both are. <laughs> 
Am I mistaken? Or does somebody we know have his fingerprints all over the story? It's got to be. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that Bo and Nora would have helped Todd Manning get this kind of information. No, no, of course. Yeah, and RJ's Carlo's buddy, Vega's working for the guy, so you can count them out. And the judge, I'm sure he would have been too scared to talk to anybody. I mean, Alex, you know, she's not going to help write a story about her wedding dress being torn off and her baby pillow falling out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there to see that thing. <laughs> but we're being serious here now, right, Dad? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, uh, Todd, obviously got these kind of details from some eyewitness but that leaves only Paul I find it pretty hard to believe that my own father would hand our competition this kind of a story well dad we had the same information we just chose to print only the facts I think you mean we handled it tastefully oh, well I'm just saying that Todd is out there selling a lot of newspapers this morning. Oh, so you think that we should have run with this pillow pop of crap, too? No, that? no, I am not saying that we should have handled it the way that the Sun did, but I am saying we sort of sidestepped a couple of the sensational aspects of the story. We stuck with the mayor is financing a fake pre pregnancy with city funds. When Todd, all right, it was out of necessity, but he went for the juicier stuff. We had all that information. We just didn't choose to push the drama. Uh -huh. Kathy, tell me something. Do you agree with uh, Kevin? Do you think that we should have gone for the drama, or are you satisfied that we exposed a major case of corruption in the mayor's office? Um, <laughs> Vicki, I'm just a reporter. You know, how you handle it is an editorial decision. You bet your damn boots it is. It is up to the editors to decide how a, a story is going to be played out, Kevin, in keeping with the paper's long-time policy. Okay, well, the injunction has been lifted, so there's no point in worrying about anything except the second part of this story, which hopefully is coming along well, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's coming along great. But there is only one problem that, now, thanks to Todd, we're behind today, so it's not really... What do you say we forget about Todd Manning and concentrate on the story, huh? Meanwhile, I'm going to meet Bo over at Paws. We're both going to read him the riot act. If he doesn't keep pushing Hesser like this, he's just taking too many chances. He's going to wind up dead. Yep. Well, Hesser, that's a definite possibility, isn't it? Look, I have to meet Francis on the homepage, and then I have a therapy session. I'll see you later. I look forward to the next installment. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Deb. Thanks, Kevin. For what? I'm just a reporter. Those are editorial decisions. I can't make them. Kevin! You saw how upset Clint was? I mean, what, his son out selling us this morning? Not to mention the fact that his own father is feeding information to the competition. Well, what am I supposed to do? Lie to him? Tell him everything is just hunky-dory? No, but you might want to go to night school. Take a class on how to be more diplomatic. Hey, Hey! Hey, Kevin, how are you doing? Good. And aren't you a little early? Yeah. Yeah, I am, but I figured you'd be a little anxious to meet with Emily about the baby and all. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I am, but I um, I still need a few minutes to rough out the article. Sure. Me? Yeah, no problem. Okay, great. Catch up on the minutes. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, okay, you type. I'm going to go over the facts. Oh. Is that your diplomatic way of saying that you don't like the way I go over the facts? Just type. Yes, ma'am. Can you believe this? It never ceases to amaze me how some publications can print nothing but lies, not to mention the most evil gossip I've ever heard. Well, yeah, Todd did stick it to you and Carlo, didn't he? Then there's not a word of truth in it. Really? I, I thought uh, they had everything pretty well right, yeah? I was there, remember. There it is, faking the pregnancy, dress coming off, the pillow. That was Carlo my was private living. life, Nora. Well, you're right. You're absolutely right, Alex. The wedding was a private affair. The banner, however, did print the public story about how you, as mayor, uh, embezzled city funds to pay for a baby that you were buying? No, you see, that's not true. It may look like there are some 
bookkeeping irregularities, but there will be nothing that will remotely make it look like I've done anything wrong. You see, I was paying the expenses of a young pregnant woman because I and uh, Carlo wanted to adopt a child. But of course, the banner has decided to present me in the most negative light possible. Asa got Clint to run a smear campaign against me. So I have made a decision to sue the banner for libel. And I'm going to sue them for millions of dollars, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars. I want you to represent me. Thank you for coming to work at the mansion here today. I've got to get that feasibility study done, and there's no way I would have finished it at the office. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you seen this, Cordero? Good morning, Cameron. She knows I'm not local, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I filled her in on that, Asa. Listen, yeah, I did see that. What are you thinking, Asa? <laughs> Ridiculing Carlo Hesse like that in public. It's only going to call him out. He's going to come after you again. Don't start. Why don't you just drop this whole vendetta you got against Carlo? You're wasting your time. In fact, we could use it here at the company. Come back on, and I'll make you my chief advisor. Forget it. I need you, Asa. I know you do. Then why won't you say yes? Why? Because I am nobody's right-hand man, but I will give you some good advice, boy. When it going gets rough, the only one you can trust is yourself. I'm kind of surprised he didn't take you up on your offer. I mean, I know how much the company means to him. He's still going to come around. He just wants me to grovel a little more, that's all. Listen, this might not be my place to say so, but um, I think you're making a big mistake. Alex. I'm flattered. No, I really am. You had me come all the way down here so that you could ask me to represent you in a case that obviously means a great deal to you. Suing the banner for libel. Well, why not, Nora? I've always felt a certain kinship with you. It meant a lot to me that you were the matron of honor at my wedding. Well, not in this one, thank God. Um, I guess my point is I, I'm not going to touch this case with a ten-foot pole. Why is that? Well, let's see. You embezzled city funds. That's not true. You faked a pregnancy. You dropped Asa like yesterday's trash because you couldn't get any more out of him. Then you That's ran free on the arms of yet another Asa sugar daddy me. who doesn't exactly have a pristine reputation himself, I mm. might add. You take all of these few and small facts and you put them together, and Alex, you don't stand a snowball's chance in hell of winning a libel suit against anybody. We'll see. Plus, I like to take on clients that I think are in the right. You don't qualify. Fine. Good luck. Thank you, Nora. Are you sure this therapist's name is Durbin? Elliot Durbin. Why? He's Vicki Carpenter's therapist. Yeah, so? Our doctors don't have more than one patient. You just got through telling me that Carlo isn't exactly the therapy type. I doubt that Vicky knows that her therapist is connected to Carlo Hesser. Yeah, I'm sure she wouldn't be too comfortable finding that out. Now, Vicky and uh, Carlo have a, a long history. It's not a good one either. I'm going to talk to Nora about this. Her sister's a psychiatrist, and uh, Durbin took over her for her on the hospital staff. So you, you keep your eyes and ears open anytime Durbin's around, okay? Yeah, got it. All right, I'll follow up with Vicky and Nora. You better do it quick. Why? Because from what I gather from these two, something big's going down soon. No, why are you repeating this stuff about Alex? I'm not repeating Santa? anything. I moved it. I just... All right, so I didn't delete it, okay? Just to listen yeah, to me. Wizard, regular sorry. work, processing Look, it's not wizard, you are. this machine, all right? Give me a break. Hey, where were we? Alex, having lost her husband. No, no, you make it sound like my grandfather. Okay, having divorced her husband. Excuse yeah. me, look, I can see that you're both busy. Why don't I go meet with Emily on my own? No, no, right? sweetheart, I really want to go with you, too. Just give me another minute, okay? Oh, great. Reverend Carpenter.
carpenter. They got you working here, too? Well, I guess, you know, circulation is sagging. They need all the help they can get, right? <laughs> How you doing, Todd? I heard you were back in town. Yeah, I'm back. I know you're disappointed you didn't get a chance to speak at my funeral, but maybe next time. Todd, what are you doing here? Because if you came to gloat, you can leave. Well, as usual, Kevin, you've got me all wrong. Thank you, Nigel. Your grandfather's a butler. It's hysterical. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Um, listen, why didn't you answer my question? Oh, well, I don't know. It's just a little difficult to talk to you about it. Well, you said that I was making a mistake. I assume you were talking about me bringing Asa back into the company. What's wrong with that? Oh, well, nothing. I mean, uh, I'm sure he would give you terrific advice. It's... But? Well, I just, I just keep thinking about that time you told me about when you had to assume control of Buchanan Enterprises. Yeah. The board. They wanted Ace's hide, and I stepped in, and I took control of the company. Asa knows why I did, did that. He understands. Oh, no, I, I'm sure he does. It's just that, you know, and, and, and as I said, I'm sure he would offer you sound advice, but you're perfectly capable of running Buchanan Enterprises by yourself. I mean, the word will get out, and if, after all your hard work, if people think that you changed that company all around just because your grandfather was whispering in your ear, you're not going to get the credit that you deserve. Well, if the company is back on solid ground, what difference does it make what anybody thinks? Listen, can you do me a favor? Could you put together the uh, files on Saudi Arabia and Kuwait? I left the Japanese files out in the other room. I'll be right back. into coming back on as an advisor. And I think Asa's gonna go for it. Oh, no. How am I gonna decimate Buchanan Enterprises if you have Cord and Asa looking over your shoulder? Not to mention that all the hard work you did getting so close to Cord is gonna mean absolutely nothing. I did my best to dissuade him, but I don't think I got through. We've got this whole family bond thing going on. Disgusting, isn't it? Keep me posted. Carlo, you really ought to try to calm down. I'm not here to calm down. So much stress. You won't be able to think clearly. I'll decide what to think, when I want to think it, and where I'll do it. Understood? Sure. I want this hypnosis session to go without a hitch. I want Nikki to kill her son now. The session takes place today, yes? Yes. Your office? Yes. You have everything planned? Yes. Good. I follow the regular hypnosis procedures. Good. Then I make the suggestion. Good. You really ought to seek psychiatric help, pal. You know, <laughs> I know you don't want to talk to me about it, but I'd be happy to recommend a colleague. Now, haven't I told you, doctor, therapy is for weaklings. Sniveling whiners who have to pay to tell their problems to other people because they're too weak to solve them on their own. Now, when exactly does the session take place? Noon. Hellier? Hi. Dorian, I was worried about you. <laughs> Mr. Hesser, isn't she a beautiful woman? Oh. <laughs> Haven't seen each other all day. I'm sorry, but we'll be talking again. Fine. I'll, uh, speak to you later, Doctor. Dorian. Carlo. Nice seeing you. Well, <clears throat> it's not that I mind. Uh, being kissed in public before noon, but I usually like to know why. Oh, Dorian, I had to try to find something to cover you. I beg your pardon? I don't want him to know that you're connected in trying to help Vicky and her son. 
Yes. Okay, so now we're lovers. Well, uh, that's certainly fascinating. Dory, did you manage to call Cassie? And did she get Kevin out of town? Well, Cassie's just been so busy that I really haven't had a chance to uh, talk to her. She is the reporter that broke the story about the mayor dipping into the city funds. And besides which, I was thinking that actually it might be rather fun to see Vicki stand trial for murder again. Oh, Ann, you know what you're saying. Do you want to see Kevin dead? Okay, I've got you all wrong. Why are you here? I just came here to say that I was going to drop the injunction against the banner. You know, let, let the sun and the banner slug it out in the papers instead of paying lawyers to slug it out in court. God, what a regular print. You know, the only problem with that is the injunction was lifted early this morning, but you knew that. I did? You did. Just like you knew that it would take a day to overturn, where you could play catch-up. But guess what, Todd? We did all the investigative work, so you're still going to have to play catch-up now. Bye. Okay. I guess it's true what they say, you know, how no good deed goes unpunished. You know, Todd, if you hadn't fired Cassie in the first place, I guess you would have been playing dirty now, would you? So now you think that I'm scared of a little competition between the sun and the banner? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I mean, I might be. If their two star reporters could keep their hands on the keyboards instead of on each other. Cassie. Ronnie, I know that RJ is there, so just put him on the phone. I won't forget this. Fine. Antonio, thank God. Alex, you, uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, and uh, thank you very much for coming over. I know you're risking a lot befriending me in this way. But I do need your help. Well, how, uh, how can I help you? I need to ask you a favor. Normally, as mayor of this town, as a strong woman in my own right, as a leader, as a love of Carlos' life, I, I wouldn't be in, in this position, but I... You saw what happened to the wedding. Yeah. So, Antonio, I need you to talk to Carlo for me. I need you to intercede on my behalf. All right, keep digging. Let me know if you find something. Bye. Where's that pretty lady, Cameron? That was her on the phone just now. I sent her to the library to do a little research. So what do you think? You think I did all right in hiring her? Whoever you hire is up to you. Not my call. Oh, Cord, you're here. Good. Stick around. You need to be a part of this. Part of what? Stopping this right here. You decided to make everybody think you're crazy again, Pa? What am I in, for another lecture? Well, why not? This was not smart, Pa. Now, you can't go humiliating Carlo Hesser like this and expect him to take it lying down. We know you fed Todd Manning that story, Pa. Yeah? At least Manning had some guts. The way my own son turned it up in the banner was like a tea party that was rained out. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We emphasized the theft of city funds. The news, Pa. We didn't punch up that garbage about you ripping off your ex-wife's wedding dress just to prove to her new hubby that she wasn't really pregnant. Like it or not, Clint, that was real news, and Manning knew that. Maybe you're getting a little too soft for the newspaper business. Now, let's not start beating the tar out of each other. Carlo Hester is the issue here. He's a killer. Now, he's all, he almost got you once, Pa, and I don't want you provoking him into making a second try. Do you understand that? I don't need you charging all over this town and screwing things up and possibly getting yourself killed in the process. Bo is right, Asa. Carlo is wounded right now. That makes him more dangerous than usual. So why don't you just sit back and let the professionals deal with Carlo? That's what I should do, Cord. It sounds like you forgot the advice I gave you this morning. Hesse does not scare me. What was that advice he uh, gave you this morning? He said that when things get rough, the only person you can trust is yourself. All right, cool down. The best thing now is for everyone to just cool down. 
I guess I said the wrong thing. Yeah, and you got exactly what you deserve. Yeah, just, I guess I did. But you know, I learned something. My nephew Kevin here doesn't think that blood is thicker than water. How badly am I bleeding here, Kevin? Not bad enough. Look, Todd, just leave, okay? Uh, oh, no! Todd, no! no! Are you doing? How dare you come here and start fighting? You all right? Start a fight. You're gonna have to talk to your son here. I just came here to explain that I dropped the injunction against oh, the Oh, for pity's sake, the injunction was lifted this morning. You knew that. You came here to make it personal. Go away, please. Come on. Go! Are you all right? I'm fine. It was just a little love tap. Oh. Andrew. Todd has a mouth on him. All right, look, 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 people. There is nothing to apologize for. Nothing. We better go if you're still interested in meeting with Emily. Uh, no, absolutely. All I, right. I mean... you lighten up? Of course I don't want Kevin dead. However, can't blame me for having a little fantasy or two about Vicky being indicted for murder. <laughs> I mean, what delicious irony. You can't go that far. Oh, please. Don't you have any sense of humor left? Not about this. Okay, fine. I will go to the banner. I'll find Cassie, and I will tell her that she has to get Kevin to leave town immediately. All right? Is that what you want? I'll do it, and I'll do it right now. Good. Do it now. Dorian, because believe me when I say this, if Kevin dies, his blood is going to be on your hands, not only mine. Look, Alex, I really don't know what I could do for you. I've never seen Carlo this mad at anybody before. I, I know, I know. I disappointed him greatly. No, no, no. It, it goes a little deeper than that. As a matter of fact, Carlo started seeing a therapist. He did? Yeah. Um, a Dr. Durbin? Oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. He and Elliot Durbin got connected when Carlo thought he had that fatal Vedans disease. No, no, I, I've seen the guy around before, but this time they really seemed kind of... Tight. Well, after everything that Asa has put us through, I can easily understand why Carlo might feel like he needs some psychological counseling. He hates to lose. And after he threw me out of his life the way that he did, I know that I was just devastated, and, and I know that he was too. And, uh, you see, Antonio, that's... That's why we need you to help put us back together again. Uh, Alex, I, I really don't think that's my place. Yes, I... it is. You see, I have never seen Carlo take anyone under his wing the way that he has you. You're the perfect person. He'll listen to you. Yeah, well, well maybe so, but... Antonio, that's... my life is in ruin. Tatters. Shambles. You see, I used to have everything I ever wanted. Money, power, success. And now almost everyone I know has turned their back on me. Some unknown saboteur has obviously been hired to ruin my political career, and the district attorney wants to take me in front of the grand jury. And you know, none of that hurts me as much as losing Carlo, because I love him. I'm still his wife. Unless he's had the marriage annulled, has he? No, I, I mean, I don't well, think good, so. Then I... you see, there's still hope. If you'll talk to him, if you'll help, could you please just think of me as an orphan in a storm? All right, look, I'll, um, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you very much.
And we've got a very good friend who is a member of our vestry. She works for a reputable adoption agency. Her name's Virginia Douglas, and she was she's wonderful. You bet she is. She helped us adopt our own little boy. And Emily, here's her card. I, I know that she's going to be able to help you place your baby. I don't know. I, you know, now that I'm not getting the money, I, I, I sometimes think maybe I should just keep... I don't know. Emily, um... No one can tell you what to do. But the reason we had to adopt River is because I can't have children of my own. We tried, but my son was born dead. I can't tell you how awful that was. I, I, I felt like nothing was ever going to be right again. And then when we adopted River, it was like a miracle. Never going to forget that day. No, never. <laughs> I knew then that everything was going to be all right. And, um... Emily, you can give another mother that kind of miracle. And those parents will give that child all the joy and the love for the rest of his life. Yeah, well, I got a lot to think about. Thanks for this. Mm -hmm. Bye, River. Let me walk Bye. you out, okay? So if you have any questions, Emily, call me, okay? Yeah, I will. And I think I'm gonna call that lady you mentioned. Virginia Douglas. I know you won't regret it. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. So, <laughs> thought that went, uh, went pretty well. <laughs> Andrew, I think that we should adopt Emily's baby. You were surprised that I would take your side? Gracious, I come in here, Todd's here, you're standing there, suddenly he holds off and socks you? Well, he didn't exactly hit me for no reason. Oh, no kidding, I saw his fat lip. Let me guess, he came here to cause trouble, caused it and got a little bit more than he bargained for, am I right? Yeah, that's, that's right on, as usual. Honey, I'm your mother. Don't you know that I will always, always be on your side? I guess two fat lips in one day is too much to hope for, huh? Just say the word, no, Decker. Dorian! What could you possibly be doing here? <sighs> well, excuse me, but I thought at least as Cassie's mother, I might have the right to enter the hallowed halls of the illustrious Banner. She does work here, after all, doesn't she? Yeah, she's hanging out with them icky Buchanans again. Really, get your goat, doesn't it, Dorian? Yeah, it actually does. Where is she? She left with Andrew. Speaking of leaving, excuse me. Lucky. I wonder if you would deliver a message to Cassie for me. Her desk right over there. Just leave it there and she'll get it when she comes in later or tomorrow or maybe she just won't get it. Why? Why am I knocking myself out for these people? Oh. I'm gonna finish the rough out on that article later on. When Cassie gets here, okay, I'm off to play a couple of rounds of tennis with Drew if he shows. Why do you think he won't? Because he's been acting strange lately, but I'm gonna be there. I think we both need to get our aggressions out. Have a good time. I'm off to a session with uh, Dr. Durbin. Oh, I thought you were done with Durbin. Nope, this is the last one. Do you need it? No, I don't really think I do, but he is insisting, and listen, he's been very helpful, so I don't want to let him down. Hey, come on. The harm can one more session do, huh? Bye. Daddy was this morning. Let me tell you something. You would have loved to have seen that smile. <laughs> I know I did. Tell you what, I can feel it. Your daddy is on his way back. Oh, yes, he is beautiful. You're so beautiful. Yes, he is. 
Claire. Oh, Todd, I, I guess the babysitter told you that I, that I was... Oh, my God, what happened? Nothing, nothing. It's just a, it's a souvenir of my little visit to the Ben. Todd, let me look at that. What, what happened, sweetie? It's okay. Kevin punched me, but it was worth the visit, man. You should have seen the looks on everybody's faces. That whole city room there, everybody staring at me, and I knew that the sun was out selling that stupid rag two to one. I loved it. Todd, it's still no reason for, for, for Kevin to oh, hit you. Oh, forget about Kevin. Look, it's what I was talking about this morning, man. The sun is back. The whole town's just gonna have to get used to it. Well, I'm sorry that your lip is all swollen like that, but it's so great to see you like this. But you know what we've got to do, though. What? We have got to rub everybody's nose right in it. And I know exactly how we're gonna do it. Don't you see, Andrew? All the joy, all the happiness he's brought us? I mean, just think about it. Think about what this could mean for us. Okay. Rip, tell you what. Why don't you take your toy and go play on the lobby for a second, okay? We'll be there in a second. But you stay. Stay where I can see you. Right? Right there. No further. I mean, Andrew, think. We can't let Emily's baby just go to anybody. We don't know what will happen to it. And wouldn't it be great if River had a little brother or a sister? Kevin, please, just stop, all right? Wait, yes. The same thought occurred to me. Of course it did. But look at us. Look at what is going on between us right now. I mean, do you really believe for one second that we are going to be able to handle another baby? You're really worried about Paul, aren't you? Yeah. I think Cord's right. Carlo's wounded. He's more dangerous now. What was that you were talking about? That you had something working on Hesser? When I'm ready to talk about it, you're going to be the first to know, big brother. Hey, honey. I'm sorry I'm late. Mm. Hey, where's Asa? <laughs> oh, he's uh, off sulking somewhere. Oh, didn't like people telling him what to do. Well, who does? Yeah. <laughs> honey, what do you know about Elliot Durbin? Dr. Durbin? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I know that my sister Susanna recommends him highly. Other, otherwise, he would never, she would never have left Vicky in his care. I mean, he's highly thought of, highly professional, highly regarded. I mean. You think he's corruptible? Well, what does that mean? Yeah. Just what does that mean? He's Vicky's therapist, Paul. He may be involved with Carlo Hesse. Oh, my God. Now, well, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Carlo could be a patient. Yeah, right. Well, I still like to talk to Vicky about it, okay? You know where she is, Clint? Well, she's probably at her desk at the... Oh, wait a minute. It's noon. She's... She's in a therapy session with Dr. Durbin. You should mind your own business. Better yet, call Vicky. Where is she? You said she was never late. Seventeen. 